welcome to Patriot Pets. My name is Lake Green and today we are in the Granary Burying Ground here in Boston, Massachusetts on Park Street. This burying ground was established in 1660 after the original burying ground in Boston became overcrowded and houses over 8,000 people, notably Paul Revere and other men. Let's check it out. So here's a cool one to start off. Here lies the body of Miss Elizabeth Hall, aged 75 years, deceased September the 27th, 1734. So as the bells of Park Street Church ring, uh, I found this little plaque to gravestone carving in early Boston. So in early Boston, when someone died, their families or friends indicated their site with a marker, and in the beginning, there was only very cheap wooden markers. So, if you were not wealthy, or it was immediately after death, you'd be marked only with a wooden uh, plaque of sorts, which did not survive because, you know, right by the sea here, the salt, the damp climate weathered very quickly. So. Then they moved to stone, native stone of the area, and just started marking things down with initials. Um, but eventually, as the town expanded, the city grew, people started paying some more money and the gravestones became a lot more intricate. And here is a monument to the parents of the great Benjamin Franklin. Josiah and Abiah Franklin are buried Underneath, parents of the great American inventor and celebrity of his time, Benjamin Franklin. And here is another Franklin. Here lies the body of Miss Hannah Franklin, wife to Samuel Franklin, died January the 24th, 1748, age 66. And here is this memorial erected, the commemoration, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, to mark the grave of John Hancock, first president of the Continental Congress, and a great American patriot. Here you go. Farewell, vain world. I have enough of thee. And now I am careless what thou sayest of me. What fault thou seest in me, take care to shun. Their work within thyself that should be done. Thy smiles I court, not nor thy frowns I fear. My cares are past, my head lies quite quiet here. Edward Carter died November 11, 1742, aged 45. Here lies buried the body of Captain John DeCoster, who died January 28, 1773, aged 26 years. Stop here, my friends, and cast an eye, as you are now, so once was I. As I am now, so you must be. Prepare for death and follow me. Very interesting. I love these old stones. And this one is really interesting. A Boston Tea Party participant dumping the tea into the harbor in 1773 to protest the new tax on tea imposed by the British Crown. Here lies buried the body of Miss Sarah Uran, wife of wife to Joseph Uran, age 61, 
years. Died 17 something. Cannot read this, the, the, the year. But nonetheless, Boston Tea Party participant. This is the burial site of Sam Adams, signer of the Declaration of Independence, governor of this commonwealth, a leader of men, and an ardent patriot, and of course, the cousin of John Adams. So, remembered now by many with his beer brand that adorns his name, not his, but a brand that adorns his name, was worth far more than just a spirited beverage. midnight ride to warn the neighboring towns of the incoming British force that started the Revolutionary War. The man who etched the image of the Boston Massacre that was widely published and stoked the Flames Revolution just four years or seven, seven, six years earlier, five years, five years earlier. And the man himself who even though he's not known for this, served in the Continental Army in the aftermath. A true American patriot, a native Bostonian, and someone well worth remembering. And so if I made a video for every grave in this cemetery, it would take me all day. So I'm going to cut it here, but before we go, I want to just say uh, the earliest grave I was able to find in this cemetery dates to 1667, which would make sense because the cemetery was established in 1660, only seven years. And I've also noticed a lot of graves with the same names in the family, so it was not unusual if a child died young for the family to name another child born later after the dead child. It was just common practice. Thanks so much for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. And this is the old granary burying ground of Boston, Massachusetts.